and we are live on the Galaxy Man Show. Uh, I'm going to get you to introduce yourself and explain a bit about what you do. Yep. Hi, um, I'm Lauren Esposito. I'm 22 years old and I'm an Aussie actress from Melbourne. Awesome. Uh, so we'll dive right into the questions, Lauren. Um, so you're in this new film called uh, The Legend of the Five. What can people expect from that film and what can people expect from your character, if you can give a bit of details about your character? Yeah, for sure. So The Legend of the Five is all about these five kids that go on a little excursion at school and they find out that they all have like the element powers. Um, so they get transported into this like magical world and then they got to save the world pretty much. So that's what it's about. It's a family fantasy film. Character Zoe, she's, uh, she's pretty much the leader of the group and she, she kind of guides the rest of the kids to safety and to back home. Awesome. Uh, and so for my next question, what was the experience like filming on set? It was amazing. We filmed up in the Blue Mountains in New South Wales, so it was absolutely beautiful, beautiful locations that we got to film at, which was amazing. And yeah, the whole experience was absolutely amazing. We had such a great uh, crew and cast, and we were all like a big family by the end of it. It was awesome. Awesome, cool. Um, so for my next question, who inspired you to get into acting in the first place? So originally I wanted to be a singer. So I was singing in the Australian Girls Choir since I was about five years old. And I got to travel around Europe and Asia with them when I was about 11. And then, which was like an amazing experience. And then after that, I kind of got into like musical theater. So that brought in acting with my singing. And then after I moved to Melbourne from Adelaide, I kind of stopped musical theater a little bit and then kind of just transferred into the whole film and TV realm and haven't gone back since. Uh, and so for my next question, you were also in The Conjuring too. What was that experience like? Oh, that, that experience was mind blowing. <laughs> that was my first um, feature film, my first like big studio film as well. So um, it was absolutely incredible. I'm so grateful for this day, um, to this day for, for those people, honestly. It was an incredible experience. Awesome. Uh, and so for my next question, if you could be in any TV or movie franchise, what next would you want to do? I want to do more action films. We got to do a little bit of action stuff in The Legend of the Five, which was cool. Um, so I, I feel like a lot of stunts and stuff like that, that would be really cool to be a, be a part of. Uh, and so for my next question, uh, what advice would you give someone wanting to get into the acting industry? And what are the posit positive and negatives into the acting industry? And how do you get through those positives, uh, through those negatives? So, I mean, there are a lot of ups and downs in this industry. I mean, uh, there's a lot of rejection um, almost every day. <laughs> so honestly, like for people that are just starting out, I think you just have to trust yourself and trust your, your, your craft and your gift and just know that it, you will get there. It just might take a little bit longer than some people or it might come quicker. You just have to keep working at it and just trust yourself because the day will come. Uh, and so for my next question, why should people get into Legend of the Five, in your opinion, to be invested in, in, in some way? It's just a, it's a fun family film that I think like, everyone will enjoy. It's, it's got so many aspects that everyone will, that everyone will love. And there's a lot of things about friendship and about like, you know, building confidence in yourself and, and traveling. It's just, it's, it has a lot of aspects to it, which I think will resonate with a lot of people around the world. And for my last question, what new projects do you have installed after COVID-19? So there is one film that hopefully I will be filming depending on what's happening with COVID um, back in Australia. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to say anything just yet, <laughs> but um, there is an Australian film that I hopefully will be filming by the end of this year, depending on the whole COVID situation um but yeah that's about it so far awesome. it's a, a little bit crazy with everything that's going on in the world right now <laughs> everything's just kind of taken a pause well can i just say thank you so much lauren for making an appearance on my show it means so much everyone definitely go give lauren the amazing support and definitely go check out uh legend of the five when it comes out uh thank you so much again lauren for coming onto my show and yeah um any last final words that you'd like to say 
Oh, no, thank you for having me. I've absolutely loved it. One tree is all trees. Their roots intermingle in the ground. A ticking clock and time is almost up. I read that these markings represent the elements. And in this culture, everyone is born with one. Like the star sign? Okay, we need to know where we are, how we got here, and how we're getting back. <gasps> you are in the grove of the Earth element. We are in tune with the music of creation. We can manipulate nature, heal others. Nowhere in this forest is safe. We're all gonna die out here. Do you really think that five children could stand against the end of the world? I'm just trying to figure out where to go next. I can't believe you locked me out of here! This was my home! Where does it say heroes can't make mistakes? We are not going to give up! You'll soon discover how meaningless you are in this equation. I can't ever save the people who are most important. This is the place where things are darkest.